Arcadiana is Ollie Bear. Hey, we are back. Carlos not. I love this shirt. I'm going to get a shirt like this, I promise. Carlos, we're going to make a pizza here. Tell us what we're going to do. So we're doing the uh, Al A. Bear Special Edition. Hey, that's going to be popular. Oh, yeah, we'll sell a lot of them. <laughs> uh, now, uh, we're going to do this in two stages. We're going to bake it. It's a boudin pizza. <gasps> uh, boudin, green onions. And then after it bakes, we'll put your likeness on the oh top of the God, pizza. Oh, my God, to be immortalized in a pizza. So now, we'll, we'll put extra boudin because it's you. Because I am extra boudin. Yeah, there you go. So now, do you get the boudin without the casing, That's or do you get it with the casing and take it out? A lot of uh, restaurants, pizza places are getting it now, you know, just uh, loose. And mm -hmm. you can stuff things. It's easier than having to... Yeah. Uh, open. yeah. So I had a cousin, holiday, she'd come with the rice dressing, but she had bought boudin, took it out of the casing, and made rice dressing. And everybody's like, this is great rice dressing. And one day someone said, it sure tastes a lot like boudin. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty cool that you can buy it out of a casing mm -hmm. like that. I like that. And um, so what's next? Then we're just going to put a little oil on top. And then Now, what kind of oil do you use? So we make our own uh, herb oil. Really? So it's uh, different Italian spices, some uh -huh. Cajun spices as well. And then we're just going to put it in this oven. It's where we bake our Detroit pizzas in. Man, there's so many different kinds of pizzas. Chicago pizza, Detroit pizza. And we were talking about the Sicilian pizza earlier. Mm -hmm. And there's also uh, there's the old uh, pan pizzas, kind of like, you remember when we were growing up in the 80s at Pizza Hut, they had that little pan Yeah, pizza. I remember that. And then there's, a, a, they call it a, a bar pizza, but it's basically like a real, real thin crust that you can eat at a bar. It's really trending right now. So, are you familiar with the pizzas that use the cauliflower? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your thought about those? Well, I mean, some people can't have gluten. We yeah. do a gluten-free. We uh, get this real nice Italian flour that's gluten-free, and you can make any kind of pizza you want with it. But uh, even some people can't have that, so then the cauliflower is a, a nice I haven't stuff. tried that yet. I just haven't been able to wrap my head around cauliflower, pizza. It's you know. not the same. Really? Now, if you get the gluten-free, like we do from Italy, it tastes like pizza. The cauliflower is not quite that taste, but if you can't have you know dough, then that's your... I'll tell you, he's got something for everyone out here at Bayou Tish Room. You know what? At some point, we got to go look at the pinball machines. Got a whole room full of pinball machines. Some of you know what those are, some of you may not. We're going to go back to you in the studio. We're with Carlos Knott and his great shirt. <laughs>